We have more NVIDIA news. The next generation GeForce RTX 4090 rumored to use new GDDR7 memory. This is exciting for mining because it means that we might see some really crazy numbers depending on the speed. NVIDIA's next gen Ada Lovelace GPU architecture is going to buck heads with AMD's next gen RDNA 3 GPU architecture later this year. But now rumors on Ada Lovelace GPU side of things really heated up. In his latest video, Tom at Moore's Law is Dead said the next gen 8102 GPU and other GeForce RTX 40 series GPUs could support next gen GDDR7 memory. Tom said, quote, the memory controllers in Lovelace dies are vastly improved over amp here, with 8102 being built to support GDDR7 memory speeds and possibly GDDR7 itself. The source continued, adding that the 8102 memory controller was designed to handle GDDR7 memory speeds, and that's at 32 gigabits per second. That's a 30% increase, boys. And possibly built around an early GDDR7 specification. It is unlikely GDDR7 will be ready for Lovelace's initial launch, but either way, NVIDIA will be able to use the fastest GDDR chips on the market in Q3. They will also have a pathway to a full refresh in 2023 with vastly higher memory bandwidth if they need to rush out the RTX 5000 series after defeat, just like Fermi. The timeline lines up as Samsung unveiled its next-gen GDDR7 memory back in November of 2021, which means if NVIDIA is able to get some GDDR7 memory at around a year after the initial release, well, we get November, we get to November 2022 and early 2023 when NVIDIA could refresh with the RTX 5000 series. I think we would probably see a refresh... Personally, I think we would see a refresh of the 4000 series, but now with GDDR7 memory clocking it at rather bonkers 32 gigabits per second, let's put that into perspective. The fastest GDDR6 memory modules that NVIDIA is using on its Turing-based GeForce RTX 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090 tops out at 21 gigabits per second. That's near a 50% increase and should result... No, no. 30% increase. What is going on here? And should result in some truly next-gen 4K and beyond gaming performance and some massive, massive mining performance. Uh, the power consumption's bad, but like, let's do a percent calculator just for fun and let's see what the top end would have, right? Let's go ahead and say, um, let's go ahead and say, you know, it, this is easy. We'll do this. 21 to 32 will get the exact percent calculator change. Okay, so result is 67, hold on. So that's, we need to do this different. We need to do 32, 21, calculate that out. All right, so that, they're right, 152% change. I guess I, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I was doing that wrong. 30% increase, um, 152% change. And let's just say we'll go straight for hash rate, right? On Ethereum. So what is 152% of 115 mega hash a second? That would be a result of 174 mega hash a second, provided, of course, the memory bandwidth is the same. So or bus side is bus size is the same, which would result in the calculation. Uh, basically upping the memory bandwidth by 50%, and then that would result in 174 mega hash a second. There we go. That is exciting. That's pretty cool. What do I think is going to happen? I think we're going to see the refresh of GDDR6X, or not the refresh. We're going to see full GDDR6X memory speeds in the initial launch of, uh, launch of Ada Lovelace, Meaning I think we see like the 21 gigabits per second. We see that increase there. And then they refresh at the end of 2022 or into 2023 and start slapping GDDR7 on there. And that's where we're going to see how we're going to see this play out. That's my personal opinion. We'll talk and see what you guys think over here. Yeah, math is hard for me today. You know what? It is what it is. I've never said I was good at anything.
I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.